This is a particularly difficult engine. Um, it's a 1.9 8 valve JDD. Um, because of its layout in this vehicle of Fiat Multipler, um, there's little access at the back, so it's quite difficult to, uh, to get the tuning box installed on this engine. First, we remove the four bolts here. Take out the oil cap, remove the cover, reinstall the oil cap, and then we look. If you follow the injector pipes back, you can see that they will lead to the rail. Place your hand around the back of the block and see if you can feel the rail. You can feel this, and it's a long cylindrical tube along the back of the engine. If you can see that there is no rail pressure sensor in the centre of the rail, move to the end and see if it's present at this end of the fuel pressure rail. Put your hand around the back of the engine and feel the end of the rail. You should feel that the rail terminates with a small length of wire and a plug which feels similar to these plugs on top of the engine. There will be a yellow retaining clip, much like these, which needs to be pulled back before this tab can be pressed down. You can see this wire goes all the way back around the back of the block. This is the wire which connects to the other end of the rail pressure sensor. I've now unplugged this and I can pull it through show you which connector I'm talking about. Here you can see the three pin connector. As you can see, this is very similar to the two pin connector on top of the injectors except it is wider with three pin layout. We take the tuning box you can see that this connector must be installed with this connector from the box. Make sure that the yellow locking tab is pulled all the way firmly back. Place the connectors together but then you must push down firmly on the black spring tab. If you do not push down on this, the connector will not go together properly and the car will not start or run properly. Push down on this black tab, push the connectors together and release it. When this is done, push the yellow tab forward, locking the connector in place. If you look at the side of the connector, you'll see that there is one step, a second step, but the third step is completely masked inside the connector body. There should be no exposed connect, no exposed third step of the connector. If we move to the next connector, if we go back around the back of the block and find the rail pressure sensor again. You can feel that in one side there is a ramped tab and on the other side there is a flat oval tab. Engage the pressure sensor connector with the ramped tab and simply push it firmly into place. There it is. You should now be able to look at the tuning box and go and put the keys of the vehicle on. I'll demonstrate this. The box will flash, indicating that the unit has been correctly installed. 
If you do not see a flashing light, please reconnect the connections and check that everything is as described in this video. If everything is, is as described and there is still a problem, please contact technical support for help. Start the vehicle and you'll see that the unit remains having a flashing light. If I go and rev the vehicle at 3000 revs, the light should go solid.